Okay, transformations. Relatively straightforward, to be honest. Okay, there are only four types. Okay, and in on the third paper, you'll see I'll try and talk about this tree. We'll talk about transformations. There's translation, reflection, rotation, or enlargement. Okay, so just look at what you've got. This shape is upside down. Therefore, it's been rotated. When you rotate, there's more information to be had. So there's three marks there. Sometimes um, there's more information than this particular one. This has been flipped upside down, so it's 180 degrees. I don't have to give a direction. But the main thing about rotation is the center of rotation, the angle, and the direction. Okay, so that's the three things for that. Okay, the other transformations do not have three marks unless it's an enlargement, and that's really obvious to be honest. So it's upside down, so it's 180 degrees. If you're not sure what's happened, you can draw around both shapes. As you can see, if you turn 180 degrees, that's how we get back onto ourselves. So we've got 180 degrees. We don't need the direction, it's 180 degrees. We do need the center. So when it's 180 degrees, there's a nice little cheat. You can just connect the opposite corners like that, and it does identify the center of rotation. However, if it's not, and it's an awkward angle, it's a, it's a different angle like 90 or something like that, you have to test coordinates to try to get those to map, to go back onto themselves. Okay, and when they go back on themselves, you go, right, so if I tested that one, it would have been wrong. But if I test like the one that I already know it is, you can see it fits, so I know that's the right one. So the center is zero one.